see birds have shut up. Please drive to highlighted route. So I got 711 miles to go. And I got a route through Des Moines Terminal, so I will go ahead and punch that in real quick. It's so easy. Love this GPS. Dun dun dun. And so I have... Please drive to highlighted route. 276 miles. So, about five hours, so I'll get there about early afternoon, 1... 1.30, 1.45 or so, somewhere around there. Uh-oh. <laughs> this thing is crazy. Come on. There we go. Okay. Don't care. La -da -da. Shut up. I hate you. Um, messaging. You have eight hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. Right, I do. Go away! I've been here for ten hours. <clears throat> and I don't know why I just went there. Hey, it actually has me stopping in Kearney. For, oh crap. This load has two stops. No, it doesn't. You slam I <laughs> Whoa, okay, I need to wake up. Need to wake up. Alright, and the sun is making everything difficult. It actually has me stopping in Kearney, which is a nice idea because they got the Taco Bell right there, but up in Des Moines, they have the TMC Chrome Cafe, so I'm like, which one do I want? <laughs> hmm, I guess we'll figure that out on the way. But until then, goodbye. There's the tarp job. Now you can kind of see it now. Looks pretty flashy, huh? <laughs> it's one of the best tarp jobs I've ever been able to do at a warehouser with one of their crazy machines, even though it broke down on me. But I'm showing you this after it's no longer my load. Yep, I'm swapping off this dual side boxed trailer. Yeah, that's right, it had two side boxes. Two side boxes, one or two incher, and guess what? This one I just got. Okay, I'm swapping off the 7580, and this one is 49 something. It's not my truck running. 4921. And it's so old, it doesn't even have ABS. <laughs> but it's got this neat little side box with the door that swings down and no shelf. So that's sweet. Man, this is an old trailer. But chances are I'm gonna be taking it up to uh, Ankeny and therefore I probably won't have it very long in the, in the long run. But I gotta get everything taken care of here first. I have to go in and see safety. Yeah, we'll see how that goes, so. Welcome back to the 96er. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have it very long. In the meantime, it is currently 1.50 in the afternoon, and I have six hours and 31 minutes left to drive. Although by the time I'm done with everything, it's probably gonna be on my 14, so yeah. Okie dokie, bye. And the crazy thing is, I have 444 miles, 104, God, I can't talk now, 434 miles left to go, but now, I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm breaking my own idle rule for the minute, just making mention of the fact that this trailer checks out for John Deere, which is great. It's only the second time that's happened. It's shot. I gotta get my insurance card still. <laughs> I can't go anywhere without it. It's supposed to be sent to the house, but I have to have it in here by June 1st, and I have a weekender load. So, I'm not gonna have it by June 1st. Be right back. To go ahead and continue where I left off, 4921's getting dropped right here. 
I kind of figured that'd be the case. And that right there, whew, help me fly, is trailer number 2314. I saw that on my load screen. I'm like, oops, step deck. <laughs> Sad when I know what the trailer numbers mean. That load is going a hellacious number of miles to the west. From here, let's go in here real quick. And you'll see, oops, 1,800 miles going to Tacoma, Washington. Dude! <laughs> that is freaking awesome! <sighs> and they even have parking right there at the port. It's a port, so uh, I think he said uh, I'm going to have to pay for an escort again inside the port, which sucks, but considering, <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's that. Boom! <laughs> now that is a weekender right there. And it's light, which means going over the Rockies shouldn't be that big of a deal. But the trip plan for this thing is going to be ridiculous. I can see that already. But I'm going to go ahead and get this trailer swapped over and get everything taken care of. And then we can start the trip planning portion of this little ordeal. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to be on my 14 by the time this is all done. But, meh. It's all good. I have a whole freaking weekend to run it. Screw it. <laughs> Cause I ain't gonna run 1800 miles in two days. Not gonna happen. I can't run 80 miles an hour, unfortunately. And I can't run more than 11 hours a day, unfortunately. Yeah, so let's go have some fun, shall we? And here you have it. This load is basically identical to the one I took down to Galveston so long ago. Basically identical, same securement, basically, except back here where I've decided I'm going to go ahead and put three two-inch straps instead of two fours and two twos because, again, no strap winches. I hate dealing with these things. They're such a pain that I'm saying goodbye to 4921, leaving a little bit of dunnage behind because I went ahead and just <laughs> salvaged it off another trailer because it was closer. Yeah. So anyway, this is it. <clears throat> I'm going to take a picture, and then I'm gone. <laughs> well, just as soon as I trip plan this sucker. 2940 Alexander Drive. Let's punch it. Wow, 1,821 miles, and they're giving me what? 1,786, you know, that's not bad. 86, that's only 35 miles out of route. Dang, that's nice. <laughs> wow, freaking A. All right, well. Needless to say, I'm going to be putting a whole bunch of different new fuel routes into this GPS because I'm going places I ain't ever been in this truck before. Alright, how are you getting me out of here? Oh, no wonder it's so low out of route. You're having me go up there. You know, I might just go ahead and chop down the 80 to 29 first. Well, maybe, maybe not. Because I know US 20 is a pretty decent highway. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I might just go this way and go across. Who knows? <laughs> it always does that for like the first couple hundred miles and then it just keeps going me on the interstate all the way, so. Yeah, we'll get it all figured out. We'll get going. We'll... We're all right. This, <laughs> this is cool. This is very, very cool. I'm going someplace I haven't been in 10 years. Anyway, it is currently 5.58. I have four hours and 30 minutes left to drive, so let's do this.
Well, this is looking good so far. 1626 to go. I'm in Sioux City, Iowa. Only been here once. <laughs> I have a text. Yep. I have only a few. We have zero hours and 40 minutes of. Yeah, I have 40 minutes remaining of my time. Well, I actually have two hours and 46 minutes of drive time, but yeah, I ended up on my 14. I kind of figured I would with the unload and reload and everything. There you go. Did all that fun crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. That wasn't quite two hours. Neither was that. Crap! <laughs> I can't split log. <laughs> oh, if I'd have stayed just five more minutes. Oh, well, I didn't need to split log anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, Sioux City. Or Seawux if you want to look at it a different way. When I got here, I'm looking for parking. This place is a little full, so I'm like, all right, I'll look around and see what I can find. Well, I find this spot over here, and this guy right next to me here, uh, Floyd Blinsky Trucking, he was so nice as to actually back into the spot that's open behind him and kind of help me guide this thing in because apparently step decks are really difficult to back into spots. And if I remember correctly, the only time I backed into spots with the step deck the first time I came around was in a mostly empty truck stop or rest area. Well, with mostly empty truck stop because I pull through in rest areas. I don't think I really ever backed into a tight space the other step deck I had. So this is actually a little new to me and I actually ended up using both spots <laughs> to back this thing because there's only so much space in here and I asked him how much space I got back there. He's like five feet, bring it back, bring it back and he stopped me and it was all good. I got out once just to check myself and <laughs> it worked out. It was all good. Mm hmm. And the setup really set it. And good thing these step decks still have their dump valves, so that helps. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to go in and get some pizza if they have it. And if not, I'll get some Subway because they have a Subway here. And then I'm going to go to bed. Duh. Then I'm going to get going tomorrow and beat some feet to the border and I'm gonna try to beat my record of 667 miles in a day this is going to be very difficult <laughs> but we'll see what happens and I'm gonna get out of here goodbye <laughs>